at this and just expanding each one separately. So in the last example, I only gave you guys one binomial to expand, right? Here, just do, treat that everything exactly the same. So, here we have negative x, fine. If we're gonna take negative x plus three to the fourth, you guys would agree with me that the first term, that's all we care about, is negative x to the fourth power. Would everybody agree with me on that? It's very important for you guys to put parentheses there. Negative x to the fourth power. The first term here is going to be x cubed. Dot, 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 dot. We don't really care what the rest of the terms are. Would everybody agree? Okay. Now let's move to the next term. Or let's, now let's move to multiplication. If we were to multiply these two binomials, we know that the highest power, again, the only thing we care about is that highest degree, is going to be uh, to what, what power is that degree going to be when we multiply them? x to the seventh. Now, should it be positive or negative? Well, this is negative x to the fourth, so that's really x to the fourth, right? Because any negative raised to an even power is going to be positive. So therefore, what we have here is, um, what we have here is x to the fourth, so that would be x to the seventh. So we have y equals negative x times x to the seventh, dot, 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 dot. I don't even know what the rest of the stuff is, but it doesn't matter. Here, now we're dealing with y equals negative x to the eighth. So now I notice that it's even and it's negative. So therefore, it's going to take the exact same um, path and behavior as any quadratic that's going down. So we know it's going to fall left. And a lot of times what I write down, guys, is I'll write down, I know that it falls left, falls right. That helps me a lot of times with understanding the behavior, because that's what I practice so much in algebra too. Oh, falls left, falls right. But then I'm going to have limit notation basically prepared for you, uh, ready for you guys. So this would be limit as x approaches infinity and the limit as x approaches negative infinity. So basically what this is saying is, as the graph goes to the right, as the, the limit of the function as x approaches infinity, basically saying as we're going to the right, where's the function going, up or down? Down, so therefore it's approaching negative infinity. As we go to the left, the graph is also falling, so it's approaching negative infinity, okay? So the two groups that had x to the negative 8, they both had negative infinity and negative infinity. Very good. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what the one example I wanted to give you guys, or which I messed up on, was here's just another common mistake.